season two. We all did pretty good overall as a team. It was a good showcase of how everyone's going to get all the jitters out. I took first. I think as well took first. Gabe took second. We had a few other kids who placed. But overall, good day for everyone. Uh, Bobby Menji's duels were was an important uh, tournament for the team, honoring Bobby Menji's and his family's foundation. A big contributor to all the money that was donated was from the community businesses helping out. Um, we raised a lot of money through our bake sale throughout the week for the tournament um, that we donated to the Bobby Menjus Foundation uh, for a great cause. Bobby was very important to uh, the Garden City Wrestling uh, and he um, will always continue to make. We went 4-1. and one. We just lost one to Beth Page in a close match. Um, but we have a young team and definitely next time we see Beth Page, we'll definitely get them. We had a really good individuals too. Everybody did well. Uh, Vinny Latuka, um, myself, Nick, I think everybody as a whole had a, we created a good experience and good environment for everybody that came um, to the tournament, which was what we were trying to do to honor Bobby. So we had the Glen Cove duel. We were forfeiting two weight classes. We won 43 to 27. We had a lot of guys that had to get the six. Mateo and Gracia got the six. I got the six. Gabe got five. Nick got five. Chen got six. Well, Brock got the decision win, and he was bumping up to 131 from 24, and it was a full team effort. All right, so after a disappointing performance at Battle of the Harbor, we um, came back on Monday, and we really knew that like we had to come up with something for Wednesday for Manhasset. We went into Manhasset. Um, and it was a tough, at one point it was 24-24, but unfortunately, um, Manhasset ended up coming out on top. They were a very tough team, and we had some wins from 131 to, to uh, 160 to uh, keep it close. Definitely some bright spots and um, some stuff we improved upon since Battle of the Harbor. A refocus, though, for alumni night. After the Manhasset duel, we had only one day of practice. It was alumni night, so a lot of old wrestlers were in the crowd. And we had a lot of wins which energized the crowd and um i had to bump up to 190 for this speed <laughs> and i uh, i got the win which helped the team help, helps get the victory all right so uh coming out of christmas break we had the glen cove tournament and it was a good tournament competition isn't too stiff so it's great for guys to you know get some wins on their record we had eric chen get his first ever varsity tournament win he won the chip at 116 against a tough kid from Jericho. And he's the first freshman to win a tournament this year. So that was impressive. Uh, and I think that helped build his confidence, um, which he used as the year progressed. And then I I won. Um, I was most outstanding wrestler too. Um, I think a lot of guys did great. Uh, Gabe and Pika uh, came just short. Uh, they were both runners runner-ups. Be the guy that goes and dogs him down until you get that takedown. One, two, three, GC! On January 3rd, we had a conference duel against Roosevelt, and we started off hot with a 39 nothing lead, and we kind of knew it was sealed from then with Well Rock's uh, clutch decision win. Uh, we kind of fell off from then, giving them 33 straight points, but I st still think we had a strong night. So, senior night was a pretty special night. We honored uh, our three seniors, Kevin Young, who was a great leader in this room, set an example of hard work to everybody. James Imperio, who always pushes me to work harder in the room, always inspires me to do better, and yeah, I'm gonna miss him this year. And we also had um, Jackson Phillips, who is a really nice guy, really hard work in this room, developed really quick as a wrestler, and we couldn't be more proud of him this year. The three seniors who all wrestled um, all had wins, which was a really good showing for them, a good way um, to exit their last home um, dual meet. A day after our loss against Division, we had Roslyn coming up. Uh, I know after a loss, some people might get, might let their emotions get the best of them, but I think we really just stuck at the task at hand and beat Roslyn 47 to 14, I believe. Uh, me, myself, I wrestled a pretty good match, pretty close, uh, won by decision, 9-7. And overall, the team really did good. We got a lot of bonus points throughout the match and really just focused on what to do and got some momentum going to Scarsdale. And then we had the Eastern States in January. Me, Gabe, and Nick went up. We all did pretty decent. It's one of the toughest tournaments in the Northeast region. 
multiple schools from the East Coast. It's good to see test yourself against other levels of guys, completely other different levels that you don't see. I went two and two. I was happy to get my hand raised, but didn't think I did the best as I could. Nick won. Uh, gave the first time being up there. He did, he did good too. Uh, it was a good learning experience for everyone, and can't do that next year. All right, so after a long week of competition, two duels, and then Eastern States on Friday for our three best guys on the team, the rest of the squad headed up to Scarsdale for the 47th annual Scarsdale Raider Invitational. Uh, always a fun tournament, see different guys, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, they actually had like two gyms, so it was five mats. Uh, still a really long tournament, but uh, just some highlights. I took sixth at 131. Uh, Connor Welbrock took sixth at 124 jack sision took fourth at 160 but overall a really good individual tournament a bunch of matches you know a good tournament for confidence um heading into the postseason with individual stuff calhoun was uh the final duel of the season uh they were the eighth ranked team in the county and we ended up winning 36 to 33 pin that secured the victory which uh, felt pretty good to win for the team uh you know that win it was a big testament to our program to show, like, show everyone what we can do when we really set our mind to it. So this year's qualifiers, we had some tough seeds, including Wontaw, East Meadow, and Mepham. We had some young wrestlers who excelled and impressed and surprised a few. So those teams are going to be looking out for them. And then we had our core group of wrestlers who we expected to move on, do exactly what they could and should do. And the goal is next year we surprise a few more people till eventually it doesn't become a surprise. So rundown of the county tournament for the Trojans. Uh, we had eight guys in initially. We got our ninth guy in the morning of the tournament. Um, on, he was the first alternate for the wild card. Um, Overall, the guys wrestled tough. Uh, we're really young. We did um, we did set a, a good tone going into next year. Uh, we have some guys that are very capable of getting on the, the podium a year from now. We had some tough losses, but I think we'll learn from it. We'll grow from it, and uh, we'll we'll look to make a big impact uh, in the 24-25 season. Wow, it's crazy to say that already, but. Uh, overall, it, it was a good tournament for us. I think it set a good base level for what's going to come in the future for performance and wrestling, and I'm really proud of the guys. Uh, I know some of them are probably a little bit down, but uh, we're not down on them. We're, we're ready to go for next year. It's 